So the other day we did multiplying two-step equations, and today we're going to look at dividing two-step equations. If you can do multiplying two-step equations, dividing two-step equations is nothing new. Same thing that we're doing, same process. So let's go ahead and look at a few examples of that. First one we're going to look at is x divided by 4 plus 3 is equal to 11. So just like before, what I need to do is get rid of, not necessarily the number in the middle, it's usually in the middle, but the one that does not have a variable with it. This is the thing that does not have the variable with it, so I've got to get rid of it. How can I get rid of a plus 3? Minus. Minus 3 on the left and on the right. My 3's will cancel out. And I'm left with, don't forget this is x divided by 4 is equal to 8. My answer is not x is equal to 8. My answer is x is divided by 4 is equal to 8. Now, have we done these before? Yeah. We absolutely have. Can you rewrite it if you want to yes. like this? Yes, you can. So it's the same thing. Two different ways that I can show division. Some people don't mind it like this. Some people prefer to see it like this. Either way, it's the same thing. You're showing me the same problem. I haven't changed anything in it, so you're good. So what do I need to do to undo dividing by 4? Multiply by 4. Multiply by 4, or you could show it right here. Multiply by 4. Of course, I want to do it on both sides. My 4's end up canceling out, and I end up with x is equal to 32. Now, obviously, I love to check problems, right? Right? Alright, so what is 32 divided by 4? That gives me 8. And 8 plus 3, does that equal 11? Yes, it does. Good to go. Ready for another? Yes. Okay. Divided by 2 minus 6 is equal to 28. Let's do this one together and then you can do the next one by yourself. To get rid of a minus 6, yup, I need to add 6 to both sides. 6 is cancel. This is k divided by 2 is equal to 34. Remember, it's not k is equal to 34. We're not done. We have to carry this whole thing right here. So now to undo dividing by 2, multiply by 2. And k is equal to 68. Checking that, 68 divided by 2 minus 6. 68 divided by 2 gives me 34. And 34 minus 6 does equal 28. I love, love, love seeing checking your answers. That might be worth a ticket or something one day. If that's a hint, hint, hint. Same thing with this scratch work. I want to see it exactly like I've done it. I've told you that some of these you might be able to do in your head, but soon you will not. Ready to try one on your own? Yes. I'm going to throw you for a loop, okay? Can I throw you for a loop? A hard one. Can I give you a hard one? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, hang on. No, no, no. Sorry. That one's going to cause me negative. You don't want a negative one. Okay, there you go. There's your hard one.
you get this? Good. What was the What was the interesting thing that I gave to you? James. Um yeah. Where the the division was in the middle. Okay. The division was in the middle. So I put the coefficient in the front and the division in the middle. So you could have either just gone with it like I did on this very first one or you could have used the commutative property to change the order to where it's like we're seeing. What if this was a subtraction one or division one? Could I use the commutative property? No, we cannot do that. Let's look at one more and then we'll wrap this up. Last one that we're going to look at is J divided by 3 plus 10 is equal to 73. Do you want to do this one on your own? Okay. hope that I didn't trick anyone and that you didn't say 63 divided by 3 and got 21 as your answer. I hope that you remembered that this is division so you need to multiply to undo it. And J is equal to 189. Good. It's good when I don't trick you.